Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton. We're continuing coverage on a hit and run that involved an eight year old child. News 10's Blake Dawyer is live at the intersection of 8th Street and Seabury Avenue in Terre Haute. He tells us what the family has to say following the incident. Patrice, I'm standing right where that incident occurred. You can see right behind me. If you look really close enough, you can see tire marks there on the road. That's where eight year old Luca Mitchell was riding his bike and hit by a car. And now his family is speaking out saying they want answers. Jessica Mitchell says cars go flying by her house all the time. She says on Wednesday she counted 22 cars that drove by and at least half of them were going too fast for her comfort. When I heard, hey, they got him, I did take off to run after him. I was re ready to fight, you know, I'm scared, I'm petrified, it all just happened. That's after her eight-year-old son Luca was hit Monday night while riding his bike. The driver suspected of hitting Luca fled the scene, which made Mitchell very frustrated. It's like, what could he do next? Would he come over here to, you know, try to get revenge? Um, would he be, you know, watching us, stalking us or, or I mean, who knows? Rashad Allen is the driver accused of hitting Luca. He was arrested on Monday after the hit and run. Allen has a history of arrests, one for a driving related offense. In February of 2013, he was arrested for knowingly operating a motor vehicle without a license. Vigo County Sheriff John Plassey confirmed Allen is still in the Vigo County Jail. Mitchell fears if he isn't kept in jail, he could become more dangerous to her family. I don't want to be facetious and, you know, just be out for blood. You know, I, I want to, you know, get him to understand you can't just do that and act like he showed no remorse. Now, Mitchell says some extra signage, maybe a watch committee in the neighborhood, or even just extra patrols would help maybe prevent an incident like this from help happening again. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10.